For our second round of side lying breathing, we're gonna use something for resistance. So if you have a Pilates ball, the small core ball, that's great. If you don't, you can use um, a, like a beach ball or an inflatable pool toy. You can use a pillow. We just want something that you can create some pressure against that's gonna resist. So if it is a pillow, make sure it's a firm pillow or if it's like a pillow from your bed, just fold it in half so you have a little more resistance to press into. And then we'll go ahead and go back into our side lying position creating that 90 degree angle between legs and torso and you're going to take the ball or the pillow or whatever it is that you're using for resistance and you're going to place it right in front of your belly so finding that comfortable position for your upper body to where you don't have a lot of shoulder tension your neck can be released and then we'll start to take those deep breaths so same idea you want to be breathing into the top side of the rib cage but we're going to add a little resistance with the ball as we breathe so rather than breathing into the hand we're breathing into the ribs still without the hand there and breathing into your hand into the ball. So let's do it together. One breath just to focus on the ribs and then we'll add in the resistance on the ball. So big inhale into that top side of your rib cage and then just gentle exhale. Now we'll add some resistance. So as you inhale, you wanna expand that top part of your rib cage and we're going to press down into the ball at the same time. Let's do it. Big inhale. And then release on the exhale. Let's do that two more times. Big inhale. And then release on the exhale. And then the last time here, inhale into the side of the ribs and create that resistance pressing down with the palm. And then you're going to hold that resistance for the exhale and then let it go. So let's take it to the other side. I'm curious to know what you felt once you started to add that resistance with the hands. So for me, I actually feel more control over my lateral breathing and I feel like I get deeper expansion through my diaphragm and through my lungs when I have that added resistance. That's just on the left side though. Let's see what the right side does. So lying down on your opposite side, same thing, knees close to 90 degrees, ball or pillow or whatever you have in front of you, head and shoulders in a nice comfortable resting position, just one breath into the side of the ribs, no resistance. And then we'll add the resistance pressing down through the palm as you expand up through the ribs. Everything softens on the exhale. Let's do it again. Inhale upward through the side of the rib cage, press down through the palm. Soften everything for your exhale. And then this last breath will keep the resistance from the inhale through the exhale. Let's do it. So once again, I'll have you do both sides one more time on your own, at least three breaths on either side. And you want to always finish that final breath, maintaining resistance through the exhale. So minimum of two inhales resisting on the inhale. And then for the third or fourth or fifth or however many you decide to do for the last inhale, you create resistance. You maintain that resistance through the exhale. Do both sides and then let me know how it goes.